What's up guys, Cheap Beast, aka Noah, back today bringing another video. This time we're doing the top five Valentine's Day sneakers. Um, there actually weren't too many. While I was looking up uh, to try to do this list, there weren't like a ton of Valentine's Day sneakers. I think because a lot of the times uh, Valentine's Day is around the NBA All-Star Game, so they focus more on the NBA All-Star Game uh, than they would on Valentine's Day. Plus, you're only going to get so many like pink and red sneakers that you can do, but there are a few, so I was able to make a top five. Uh, Valentine's Day is today, so happy Valentine's Day. Um, so here are the top five sneakers for Valentine's Day. All right, so starting out at number five, we have the Nike SB Dunk Low Valentine's Day. Uh, this was released on Valentine's Day in 2014, so it is a seven-year-old sneaker at this point. Um, it retailed for $98, and if you were lucky enough to get it in 2014, when I imagine the Dunk hype uh, wasn't too crazy. I mean, it might have not been. I don't know. It was seven years ago. I wasn't paying attention to Dunks or sneakers that much, uh, but now it resells for five. $530. Um, that was at least the last day on StockX. Um, but you guys might think by looking at the image, it looks kind of like uh, St. John's Dunk colorway. Um, but it actually has a red marbled suede. Uh, if you guys take a look on the picture uh, or find a picture on your own, it is like a marbled uh, red suede and it's not just like flat uh, red. And then it's got leather, like cracked leather upper. Um, looks all right. Um, one of the better ones of at least like the older colorways not seven years old is not like crazy old but uh an older valentine's day sneaker there was a lot of women's and grade school and like toddler kind of uh sneakers so i picked stuff that were either women's sizing or like men's sizing or like all sizing um didn't put anything that was grade school in here but the nike dunk low um it's all right it's not my favorite that's why it's only at number five all right, at number four, we have the Nike Air Force One Love Letter. This thing actually just released yesterday. Um, I forgot to try to pick it up. I wanted to actually try to get it just because uh, I've never really had an Air Force One because I'm not too big on the silhouette, um, but I like the colors and I think this is like a decent colorway. I wear actually a decent amount of pink. Um, this is just only one of the shirts I had. I picked it because it is Valentine's Day, so I decided to wear pink because I don't have a ton of red, um, but it, Retailed for 130, I think 130, it might have been 140, not sure exactly. Um, and it resells for around 200 right now. Like I said, it just released yesterday. Um, so there isn't the resale market on this is a little different right now and it'll probably go up or down depending on uh, how people think of the sneaker. Um, but it's got a pink suede upper with some white leather all over it, kind of like a normal Air Force One with a red swoosh and then the outsole is pink. Um, there's actually ton flaps on this sneaker and another one um, that was released or that's releasing soon that might also be on this list. Um, there's flaps on it that if you uh, open up, uh, one of the sides says true love since 82, which I'm pretty sure is the release of the Air Force One. And then the other one is just like a heart with I think a Nike symbol on it. You guys will see it in the picture. And then normally we're like the perforated uh, parts of the Air Force One are just little dots. They're actually heart cutouts, which I think is, which actually sold it to me on making this to number four. Um, I like that little detail. I think it's pretty cool. Um, Definitely things I think you'd miss if you just kind of glanced at it. I definitely missed it until I was looking at closer up pictures, um, but that made it uh, number four. All right, number three, we picked a sneaker that isn't technically a Valentine's Day sneaker, but since it fits in the theme with hearts, red, uh, pink, um, so it's the Converse, uh, Comme des Garçons, uh, Chuck Taylor, All-Star High. Um, this released on March 20th of 2019. I think this exact model, there might have been other ones. Um, it retailed for $120 or $125 and it resells for about $170 now. There has been re releases, stuff like that. There are other colorways. I picked the black ones for this because I like the black ones the best. Uh, there is like a tan white one um, that also is a high, and then there's lows for the exact same model. But I like the high the best, the black high. I think it looks the cleanest. Um, obviously, it's a collab with Comme des, Gar Comme des Garçons. Um, it's just white and black versions. Um, the black one's my the better looking one. Uh, these you've seen these sneakers if you've like been around. You probably wouldn't like if you're not like a crazy sneakerhead. You haven't really noticed. You thought they were just kind of Converse, um, but it features uh, the heart and eyes logo for um, all this stuff. And if you've seen it, you know what it is. It's on the screen right now. Um, it's not a Valentine's Day sneaker, um, but it does fit the theme, so that's why I had it at number three. The next one at number two is the Nike Air Max 90 Valentine's Day. It's uh, releasing on the 19th of February, so it's actually the only one you can still pick up um, for retail um, as of right now because it hasn't released yet. I think it has released in some places, but on the sneakers app, I looked today, um, it's still releasing on the 18th. So you can pick up a Valentine's Day sneaker um, four days after, or five days after Valentine's Day, because it released on the 19th. Um, it's going to retail for $140. Um, it's actually a women's upcoming release. 
Um, like I said, it's releasing pretty soon. It's a women's sizing, so I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up. So I should have probably tried for the Air Force One that was earlier. But I think they're kind of like the same pack because they have roughly the same colorway. Um, they're both pink white and has this one has a red outsole and accents. Um, it also has that ton flap on it. Um, this one says something about the Air Max 90, um, but it features a heart underneath both of them, which I think is a cool detail. Um, I like the Air Max 90 more than the Air, or the Air Force One, and that's why this one is number two. And if you guys know me at all, I the number one seems fairly obvious if you're into sneakers at all. At least I've been watching my videos for probably the past year. Um, it's my number two sneaker of the year. It's the Nike SB Strange Love Dunk Low. Um, it released on the 8th last year of February. Um, it retail for $100. I feel like I didn't even know about it at the time or I didn't pay any attention to it. Um, but it's reselling for over $1,000 now, which I'm really upset about because I like this is one of probably it's probably made it to grail status for me. I don't even know if I'd wear it. I just really like the colors, uh, the colorway. I think it's a really cool looking sneaker. Um, if you guys haven't seen it before, I don't know how if you've watched any of my videos because it was in the top 20. I think it was in the top five like midway through 2020 and I've probably talked about it some other times but um, it has a pink velvet upper and then a red velvet swoosh and I'm pretty sure it has leather underneath that too like I said it was the number two sneaker for me of 2020 if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out um, but I, I really like the sneaker and if I could pick it up if I wanted to spend a thousand dollars I definitely would probably pick up one like this one because um, one of my favorite sneakers, the number one sneaker is better than this, but um, this one by far the second best sneaker. And it's also by far the number one sneaker for the Valentine's Day uh, top five, um, just because I think it's the cleanest. It's obviously, I've talked about it a lot, um, it doesn't make number two for a reason, but um, that's why I had to put it at number one. I think it was fairly obvious you guys have watched them for a while. Plus, I think it's the best collab, especially it's the best Valentine's Day. If you look up Valentine's Day sneakers, it's definitely the best one out of all the sneakers that you could find. Um, there weren't a ton, like I said, which is kind of upsetting because I feel like um, it's a holiday that they missed since they do a ton for Halloween. They just don't do a ton for Valentine's Day. That was the top five Valentine's Day sneakers. Like I said, there's not a crazy amount, but I think the top five I have is pretty good. They're all Nike except for the one Converse. Um, Nike usually makes a lot more like holiday themed sneakers. The Adidas ones are fine, but a lot of them just have like a heart on it or something. And like it was pretty basic models. I think there was Ultra Boost that came out this year um, that I debated putting on the list because I love Ultra Boost. Um, but I think these ones fit better for Valentine's Day. Um, Today's Valentine's Day, so if you wanted to pick up a Valentine's Day sneaker other than the Air Max 90, I think today would be a good day to pick them up. So thank you guys for watching. Tell me your favorite Valentine's Day sneaker in the comments below, and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.